Okay, this demonstration is um, to show how to remove the uh, propeller from the, the drive shaft on the, uh, the Encore boat. And this is for the second generation uh, drive shaft. Uh, and this, this is it right here. This is an aluminum tubing drive shaft. It's a little bit smaller than the fiberglass one uh, that, um, that we use for the, the first generation. And um, that means that this has another bushing in here uh, that takes up this, this space that uh, locates the propeller at this particular point. This bushing right here is the um, thrust bushing that goes up in into the um, um, perforated disc that's in, in the boat that takes that takes the thrust. This will be held in with with adhesive, and you need to uh, take uh, some kind of a knife and come in here and break this loose and uh, make sure that this is has moved forward, is moved away from the the propeller itself or it'll be very, very difficult to, um, to get the uh, 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 propeller loose from the drive shaft. Okay, the first thing that you need to do then is to take out these two screws right, right here. Use a number three Phillips screwdriver, power, power driver if you have it. Um, um, Power driver is just much easier than um, than um, a hand hand uh, driver. Uh, this uh, even with this bushing moved up will be difficult to move into a forward position. And uh, I've taken a couple of um, pieces of uh, a dowel rod here. Uh, you may have uh, some drill blanks or something like that. These are three sixteenths of an inch in diameter. Uh, if you use something much bigger than this, you'll ruin the threads uh, that these, these screws went, uh, went up in there. So use something 3 sixteenths of an inch in diameter or smaller. If you stick them up in, in there, uh, you, just take a, you can just take a hammer. And you need to make sure that this propeller moves forward on the drive shaft. Do not try to pull it out the back way or you will wind up breaking uh, this, this union fitting right here. So you just take this, uh, drive this up up there, um, and then uh, if these these do get stuck up in there, you can just take a pair of pliers and um, pull these these back out out here. This um, this drive shaft is is held to this um, this union connector right here with three pop rivets. You need to go in there with with a, a three sixteenths drill and drill these three pop rivets out of there. Take uh, this union off of there. If you buy a new propeller, you'll wind up with a, with a, a uh, new union here. So you don't have to be really careful with this. Uh, and, um, uh, but you will, will need to replace it. Then um, putting it back together is, uh, 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 you will need to take this, this bushing out of here. I'm not going to do it here today because this is just a demonstration. But you need to take a, a, a reasonably strong knife, a, a butcher kitchen butcher knife, or a, a hunting knife, something like uh, like this, and uh, come around here. And if there's some adhesive on there, you need to uh, break that adhesive loose and move this this bushing bushing um, forward, and then. When you take these these pop rivets out that I that I talked about, this fitting will come out the back, and you can um, slide the propeller off the back. Uh, putting it back on is 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 of course the the reverse, and we're not gonna gonna show it show that today. Uh, that's the uh, the important thing is to remember is that the propeller has to move forward on the drive shaft. You can't just take these two screws out and then pull this off of the back. You have to you have to take this this fitting out of there. That's it for today for for this one.